What's going on everybody, Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the Motorola Moto G Stylus 5G 2023 and the TCL Stylus 5G. Now as always, if you do want to learn more about either phone individually, be sure to check out the description, where I am linking to several other videos about them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But without further ado, let's get into it. So with the Moto G Stylus 5G 2023, we're getting a 6.6 inch 120Hz IPS LCD display with a 1080p resolution, a PPI of 399, and a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. With the TCL Stylus 5G, we're getting a 6.81 inch IPS LCD display. This phone also has a 1080p resolution, a PPI of 395, in a 20 and a half by 9 aspect ratio. So in general, the displays are pretty similar, but of course the main difference here is that with the TCL Stylus 5G at 6.81 inches with a 20 and a half by 9 aspect ratio versus 6.6 .6 inches with a 20 by 9 aspect ratio, the TCL Stylus 5G is a bit larger and it has a slightly taller and more narrow form factor. And while this doesn't automatically make it better, some people do tend to prefer a larger display with a slightly taller form factor too. So if that's you, then of course the TCL Stylus 5G will have an advantage. But aside from this, the difference difference is really not huge. The Moto G Stylus 5G for what it is is pretty large too, and they both have great image quality. So in general, if you're looking for a phone that has a really nice display, either way you really won't go wrong here. Now for storage, with the Moto G Stylus 5G, first of all keep in mind, this phone in my hand is factory unlocked, and this one does have 256GB of internal storage with micro SD card expansion, but keep in mind, if you get this phone from a carrier, it may end up having 128 instead. And then with the TCL Stylus 5G, this phone does have 128GB with micro SD card expansion too. So in general, either phone will have plenty of storage, but if you do want more storage between the two, then definitely get the factory unlocked version of the Moto G Stylus 5G, because of course 256 is quite quite a bit more, but either way for the average user, when it comes to storage, between these two phones you're really not going to go wrong either way. For security features, both phones have face unlock, and they both have fingerprint scanners right here on the power keys, so definitely a great spot. But starting with the Moto G Stylus 5G, let's give them a try. There we go, one more time. And there we go. And now for the TCL Stylus 5G. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see there, both fingerprint scanners were real fast and responsive, no issues at all. And again, remember, both phones have face unlock too, so if you want to use that instead, you always can. For the camera setups, with the Moto G Stylus 5G, up front, we got a 16 megapixel selfie camera. Then on the back, we got a dual camera setup, with a 50 megapixel main camera, and an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera that also doubles as a macro camera. And then for video, this phone can record 4K videos in the rear camera, but it does max out at 1080p in the front. With the TCL Stylus 5G, up front, we got a 13 megapixel selfie camera. Then on the back, we got a quad camera setup, with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. And then for video, this phone does max out at 1080p in both the rear and front cameras, so no 4K here. So in general, the camera setups here are pretty similar, despite the actual number of different cameras being a bit different, with the TCL Stylus 5G having a quad camera setup and, again, the Moto G Stylus 5G having a dual camera setup. Both phones have an ultra wide camera and a macro camera, and portrait mode works great on both. So overall, if you're looking for a decent camera setup with a good variety of features, either phone here will be a great choice. But again, for video, the Moto G Stylus 5G being able to record in 4K in the rear camera does have a bit of an advantage, so if you are recording lots of videos and you want to get that higher resolution, then definitely keep this in mind. To give you an idea of what these cameras can do, First, here's some pictures taken with the Moto G Stylus 5G. Overall, for what it is, I do think the photo quality here is great. Definitely not flagship level, but considering a flagship phone is like double the price or more, you can really only expect so much from a mid-range phone. But for what it is, for typical average use, I do think it will get the job done just fine. And then here's some pictures taken with the TCL Stylus 5G. And just like the Moto G Stylus 5G, I do think the photo quality here is definitely good enough for most people. So if you're doing stuff like taking photos for Instagram, for example, sending things to friends and family, or maybe using Snapchat, for example, where the quality isn't super important, the photo quality here will be perfectly fine for that. So in general, when it comes to these camera setups, I feel like they are pretty similar. And if you're looking for a mid-range phone with decently good camera quality, either phone here will be a great choice, but it really just comes down to video. On one hand, if you don't really care about recording 4K videos, then it could go either way, but if you do want to record in 4K, then again, the Moto G Stylus 5G, at least in the rear camera, can do this, so it will have an advantage. Now for the RAM and processor, 
with the Moto G Style S 5G, we're getting 6GB of RAM with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 processor. With the TCL Style S 5G, we're getting 4GB of RAM with the MediaTek Dimensity 700. Now in general, when it comes to overall performance, on one hand, the TCL Style S 5G is actually pretty fast for what it is, and for basic activities like web browsing, social media, streaming content like videos and music, and really just basic stuff like that, it will get the job done just fine. But on the other hand, between the two, the Moto G Style S 5G is quite a bit faster, so if you're going to be on your phone a bit more doing more demanding activities, definitely keep this in mind. Now I ran a benchmark test on each phone using Geekbench 6, and here are the results I got. So as you can see between the two, again the Moto G Style S 5G does have the advantage, so if you do want the faster phone between the two, definitely keep this in mind. But again in my experience, the TCL Style S 5G is definitely not a slow phone, and for more basic activities, it will be perfectly fine. For the batteries, with the Moto G Style S 5G, we're getting a 5000 mAh battery, this supports 20 watt fast charging, and with the TCL Style S 5G, we're getting a 4000 mAh battery. This supports 18 watt fast charging. So in pretty much every way here, the Moto G Style S 5G does have a much better battery. First of all, the charging speed is, while not being that much different, a little better with the Moto G Style S 5G, but obviously the main difference here is that with a 5000 mAh battery versus only 4000 with the TCL Style S 5G, the Moto G Style S 5G has a much larger battery. So if battery life and longevity is important to you, then you will want to go with the Motorola. That being said though, in my experience, the TCL really doesn't have that bad of battery life, so if you're really just using your phone a bit more lightly, or maybe you're around a charger for a decent portion of your day, in that kind of situation, while the battery life on this phone is definitely not the best, most likely, it still will be at least good enough. Now for the software, with the Moto G Style S 5G, we are getting Android 13, whereas unfortunately with the TCL Style S 5G, this phone only has Android 12. Now on one hand, Motorola isn't exactly known for having amazing software support either, but I imagine at some point in the future after Android 14 comes out, I wouldn't be surprised if this phone did get the update to it, whereas with the TCL Style S 5G, I'm honestly not expecting this phone to even get Android 13, let alone Android 14, so the bottom line here is if you really do care about the software at all, the Moto G Style S 5G will be a better choice, but in general, in my experience, I haven't had any performance issues with this phone despite it having a slightly older software, so overall, if you're not really that concerned about having the latest version of Android, the TCL Style S 5G will at least get the job done. And then for other features, both phones have NFC, so if you like to use tap and pay, you'll be happy to know that feature is compatible with either phone, and obviously as the names imply, both phones do have styluses. Now I feel like between the two, the Moto G Stylus 5G definitely has a much better stylus, especially this one. I feel like it was a little debatable with the 2022 version, but now at this point, I really do like the stylus. It's super responsive, maybe not quite as responsive as say, a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, but obviously that phone is in a completely different price range, so that's definitely not a fair comparison. But for a phone you can get for $400 or less, I do think the stylus here is pretty responsive and it does get the job done. So if you're trying to take handwritten notes, navigate through your display, or maybe play a game or something like that, I do think the Moto G Stylus 5G will be a great choice. And again, like I said, I do think the Moto G Stylus 5G does have a better stylus between these two. But despite this, I still feel like the TCL Stylus 5G gets the job done just fine. And if you really are just looking for something for super basic handwritten notes, or maybe you want to sign something, stuff like that, it will still get the job done. I mean, as you can see, it looks on camera at least just as responsive as the Motorola. So in general, if you're not really that concerned about having a super precise effective stylus and you just need it for more basic activities, either phone here will be perfectly fine. Again, I personally prefer the Motorola, but if you are looking for a mid-range phone that has a stylus, the TCL Stylus 5G is really not bad either. But in conclusion, which of these phones is better? Now, in a lot of ways, I feel like they're actually pretty evenly matched. When it comes to photo quality, for example, they have pretty much the same features and the cameras are both really good for what they are. They also have really similar displays. In fact, the TCL Stylus 5G has a bit of an advantage because, again, it is a bit larger. And the styluses, for what they are, are basically going to be able to do the same thing. They also have similar features like NFC, for example. But that being said, when it comes to the significant differences, I do think the Moto G Stylus 5G has the overall advantage. First of all, despite the carrier versions being a little bit different, the unlocked version of the Moto G Stylus 5G has double the storage, with again 256GB of internal storage and micro SD card expansion versus 128 with the TCL. The Moto G Stylus 5G also can record 4K videos, which 
may or may not be a big deal to everyone, but definitely still worth keeping in mind. It also has significantly faster performance, newer software, a better battery, and again, I feel like between the two when it comes to the styluses, I prefer the Moto G Stylus 5G a little bit better. That being said though, the Moto G Stylus 5G is a bit more expensive. Now, this really does depend on the deals you get from a carrier, because I know this phone, despite being really new, does have some pretty good deals depending on where you get it. And same with the TCL Stylus 5G, I've seen it for pretty cheap. But overall, I feel like if you're looking for a more basic device and you're not really that concerned about like the performance and overall features, the TCL Stylus 5G will be perfectly fine. But if you do want the better phone between the two and you really want to maximize the value you're getting for the money, the Moto G Stylus 5G will be a better choice. But this concludes my comparison between the Motorola Moto G Stylus 5G 2023 and the TCL Stylus 5G. Again, if you want to learn more about either phone individually, definitely check out the description where I am linking to several other videos about them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.